Hello, this is Juan Carlos Santana coming to you from the Institute of Human Performance. We're getting ready for the lightweight UFC championship with uh, Frankie Edgar and Benson Henderson. Uh, that's going to be a tough one. Both of these guys are, are coming after this, this, uh, this event here. Uh, I have to go with Frankie Edgar. Uh, hopefully, Benson Henderson will wake him up. What does that mean? You gotta knock this guy down twice. You gotta put Edgar down twice for him to wake up. If you're really nice to him, you may actually beat him. Uh, so he has to be woken up. But uh, Henderson's gonna put it to him. He's very aggressive. Uh, I like Frankie Edgar's power and I like the wrestling grind. Although uh, Benson has better submissions, I don't think he could submit Frankie Edgar unless he catches them on a mistake or going to sleep. Uh, Frankie Edgar is just very, very, very aggressive, very durable, comes from that wrestling background, just that grind, and has good, good, good power. He's knocked out some of the best. He put Mater to sleep after being down twice. Uh, so uh, I've got to go with um, Frankie Edgar, you know, 155 pounder that, that is just, uh, I, and he's a light. 155 pounder. That's another thing. Uh, Benson cuts down considerably. He can cut down 20 pounds. Frankie Edgar walks around at about 160, which he's probably a, a really good 145 pounders. And actually, there's some talk about him going down to the 45 pound class. But um, I, I think uh, Frankie Edgar is going to take him. Uh, I like the wrestling. I like the, the the grit. I like the big power in the hands. Um, so my 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 choice is with uh, Frankie Edgar. Now. From a strength and conditioning standpoint, if you're if you're each other's or if you're one of those fighters, a strength and conditioning coach, what would you do? Okay, apart from the strategy, what would you do? Uh, I think Frankie Edgar has to think like Joe Frazier did against Muhammad Ali, because he's the shorter guy. Because I would say he's the he's the, he's the uh, slower guy, and I would even say he's the less or the least athletic of the two. He needs to be in better shape. He needs to be in better shape because the grind, the way he's going to impose his will on Henderson, requires a lot of energy. Henderson, I think, is faster, more agile, and more athletic. He can pick his shots from the outside, stay away from the power that is Frankie Edgar. And so when you're fighting from the outside and you're fast, you can be much more efficient. So although Benson Henderson always comes to play and always shows up in great shape, He's the one that, lead, uh, that needs the least amount of energy. Uh, I would give a lot of gas to Frankie Edgar, work on that isometric hold, so when he does take Henderson down, hopefully that'll be the case, he can hold him down because it's going to be very hard to hold uh, Henderson down. You're going to need a lot of isometric stuff. And the cardio that you get from the sprints, and you're going to help you with the isometric stuff. So if I was uh, Frankie Edgar's coach, I'd be hanging him like a gorilla from slings and, and doing all kinds of isometric holds, walking him around with dumbbells and kettlebells, uh, dragging a lot of tires, uh, slingshotting a lot of tires and sleds. That's the kind of approach I would take. With uh, Henderson, uh, I know he does road work in the morning. I'd get him away from that road work and I would do that road work, spend that time in speed, agility, quickness. Side strike drills, ladder drills, uh, short hurdles, that kind of stuff, because he needs to get angles on Frankie Edgar. He needs to move around, and he's got to be lightning quick so he can get in, do some damage, and come back out. You know, so that's my pick uh, as a strength and conditioning coach. That would be my approach to training both fighters. And uh, good luck. I hope you choose the right one. Don't gamble. Keep your money.